Yo, all right, all righty, all righty. I think everything's all set here. I'm ready for the wonderful journey that is about to be completing the Alolan decks. Now the plan here is to play through Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Only got to restart one once for the third starter, but don't worry, I've already taken care of that. Yeah, that, 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 that child looks like me. He's not mine, though. Presented by Game Freak. You know, things get serious when it's Ultra Sun. Three months later. The way they bring the text up like that reminds me of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, honestly. So I'm thinking for this, for Sun, we're gonna go with uh, Litten. We're going with Litten. It makes sense. Oh, did it freeze? Uh oh. Uh oh, hold up. What happened? Game over! Here we go. Is it back? Don't worry. You didn't see that screen. You didn't see any of that. You didn't see any of that. This is completely legitimate, unaltered hardware. But it is actual hardware. This is not an emulator. I swear to God. Paid 200 bucks for this yesterday. Please work. Oh, <gasps> it works. All right, we're back. All right, the frame rate's gonna be a little choppy, but it, that it is what it is. We just got to accept that as for what it is. Okay. So, fun story. Yesterday, I saw on Facebook Marketplace a three a new 3DS XL. All right, it wasn't brand new, but that's just what it's called. With Pokemon Ultra Moon, Ultra Sun, and Sun, all for 200 bucks. And I've been looking for a 2DS or a brand new, a new 3DS XL for a minute, just so I could do this streaming. And those things go for like two between 219 to 279 depending on the model so i figured i'd hop on that and it comes with three pokemon games i mean i already had them well all of them except for ultra sun so i figured why not so i go i meet the guy he's very nice i, I pick it up from you know he tells me it's his little brothers his, his younger brother gave it to him no i don't want to go that way so i'm like all right bet you know it's gonna it's gonna be nice so what ends up happening is i buy the ds you know, we exchange money. I get back in the car, and there's a game cartridge in the uh, in the DS. So I'm thinking, like, oh, this must be either Sun. I think it's Sun because Ultra Moon was st is still sealed in the box, and I already have a copy of Ultra Moon, so I'm just gonna keep the one sealed, still sealed from the factory. I'm gonna keep it sealed. No, regular Pokemon uh, Moon was in there, so I got all four Gen 7 games. Plus a new 3DS XL, which my, when I tell you it's like, it's brand new. Like it was never used. Like, I don't know if you can hear this. That little click, that's the top screen. That's the top screen, baby. This thing was barely used. It still had screen protectors with it. And it came with a case too. This thing is fresh, fresh. So now, that's what we're doing. Because apparently you can't use the, uh, the sh wireless streaming software with a 2DS or else I would have done that. It only works for the new 3DS XL. It's the only thing that can handle it. So that's what made me come up with this idea to do the Alolan Living Dex. And I only need Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. It's only two playthroughs of Gen 7 games, so it's only like 70 hours of my life. Nice. Yeah, yeah, dude, I got a... When I buy Pokemon games, I only buy them with deals, okay? My po my copy of Pokemon Sapphire I got from a game store for $40. And that's because the battery inside it was dead. And I think they only price it that way because they also had a, um, a reproduction copy of Pokemon Ruby. So they might have priced it low because they thought it might have been a reproduction. But I took it home, legit battery. Just had to pay like 12 bucks to get some batteries shipped from Amazon. They just have to solder in there. And I got it and Pokemon Sapphire works. So for 40 bucks, I got Pokemon Sapphire, and that game goes for like 80 to 100 easy. And that's just online, in person. I'm only, I only buy things like that in person. I'm never taking the chance to buy those games online. There's too many pre-production -pre copies going around out there. I hate it. But yeah, new 3DS XL for 200 bucks with four Pokemon games. Because the console itself is worth like a pretty penny. All right, so here's the starter part. Let me let me get to the actual game. 
So I'm gonna give you guys some insider information. Before I started the stream, I started to play through Ultra Moon a little bit. I got to a point where I could trade Pokemon, which mind you, this took 45 minutes. It took 45 minutes to get to a point where you can trade Pokemon. There's that much cutscene. But I got to a point where I could trade it, so I chose Rowlet. So once we get to a point we can trade, we're gonna get Rowlet into this save file. And eventually when I get to playing Pokemon Moon, we're gonna play through with Poplio because Poplio is the best starter to play through by itself. But first things first, what should we nickname Linton? This is the first official Pokemon we got. The best? You want you want me to name Linton the best? I don't know if Linton is the best. That feels kind of untrue, but the best. The best. The best the beeb? Yeah, we'll name it the best. That's a good name. I'm not nicknaming all the Pokemon. I want you to know. I'm not nicknaming every Pokemon. That it's going to be hell. Oh, I should also mention, we have some extra rules for this. At some point, between getting all 403 Pokemon, which yes, 403. Three of them are mythicals, but, you know, I, I can get the mythicals totally legitimately. Don't worry about that. No, I won't be using PK Hex. I'll be getting the actual mythical event Pokemon. But... One of the uh, one of the guidelines I set for myself is I gotta get a shiny. At some point during this play playthrough, I gotta get a shiny. It doesn't end until one of the Pokemon in our living decks is gonna be shiny. Maybe I'll regret that. Maybe I won't. We'll find out. That's a surprise tool that can help us later. Yeah, I'll be your I'll be your opponent, Hal. Totally, dude. For sure. No, for sure, for sure, dude. You're totally not about to get cooked. It's all right. Oh! Right up those stairs. Come on, Seabass. Come on. We need more dialogue. Fix yourself. Be real lucky. Maybe you'll actually get a glimpse of the Guardian Deity himself. I get to meet Jesus in this game? Oh, wait. No. Guardian Deity. Jesus isn't a deity. A deity would be like... Percy Jackson. The game is mid when you are going... When are you going to play Concord? Um... You know what? I got you. Hang on a second. Let me, let me, let me play some Concord, actually. Let me just download it. That's the download sound. All right. Uh, let me see here. Okay, here we go. Um, this is Concord. We're playing Concord. Look at this. Woo! Yeah. Woohoo! Whoa! It's so cool, dude. What? Concord. Um. Um. Hang on, I'm not done yet. We're still playing the game. It's it's just really laggy right now. Um, I have ba I have bad internet connection. Sorry guys, it's an online only game. Uh, whoa, here we go. Whoa, we got con. We got the guy. Look at that. That's that's the guy. Whoa, who'd have thought? Whoa, it's crazy. Woo. Oh man, I got kicked out for hacking. All right, I gotta quit. I love it when Concord said it's Concord time. I can't get this fucking image off my screen now. I I can't get it off the screen. Wait a minute. Peak Concord Gaming. It totally yeah. I can't I can't get it off the fucking screen. <laughs> yes, delete. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay, hey, wait, guy. I'm sorry. This is this is this is terrible right now. We only have one Pokemon in the Pokedex. It's gonna be a cutscene in the background anyway. You you guys know what happens here. Please save Nebby if you can. Okay, how do I get this off my fucking screen? Um, does, will that do it? They just gave me two. Can I delete this? Yes, I want to remove this. Okay, why can't I remove this one? It's not locked. It just. Error? What the fuck do you mean, error? I just want to take it off the fucking screen. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No. Okay, I'm, this might this might crash the whole stream. I'm, everything might just go. Okay, I fixed it. Okay. Oh, we still have this. Woohoo, Concord Gaming. Anyway. All right. You can't escape the con- Yeah, I, I would like to imagine somebody was just like, I'm gonna go watch a small channel, and they just watch that shit. 
So like, oh, I'm, I like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I haven't played it in the eight, eight, seven years it's been since it came out. Thanks for the Pokedex. It's just like a, a shell of a, a dead Rotom. It's kind of, it's kind of messed up when you think about it. Oh, I got a passport. How the hell did I get into the country before without the passport? Also, side note, why is the Alola region the most developed for vehicle infrastructure, yet they're all islands within walking distance? Like, something like Unova, right? It has bridges that cars are meant to drive on, which I think a couple do. But once you, like, to get in between cities, you have to take a fucking boat, you have to walk through a desert, which a car's not driving through all that shit, or you have to walk through a random-ass forest. It's not a very walkable environment. Like Gen 1, I think they have like a couple trucks. Like that, they don't have cars there. Gen 2, same thing. Gen 3, I mean, the only vehicle I can really remember in that game is the truck that drops you off. But how the fuck did the truck get there? You're like in the middle of the backwoods. There's no road. You're surrounded by trees. And then the path forward is covered in like grassland, wild... Uh, fauna and then a bunch of ledges where does that truck go how did you move with the truck why did you even use a truck to help move stuff in the first place you can use a pokeball to miniaturize living beings you think maybe they use some sort of capsule corporation situation going on from dragon ball z where it's just like oh i'm gonna hit this button and here's my house I, they have the technology they've been to space Canonically speaking, a child has gone to space and destroyed a meteor. They had the technology to send the meteor to another dimension, but yet they can't figure out road infrastructure. I'm just saying, greatest invention of all time, the highway. Instead of waiting in a horse-drawn carriage for three weeks, I can wait for three hours a week in traffic. Let that sink in. Anyway, thank you. Welcome to my... Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Dragging the Alolan region engineers is wild. I'm just saying. Like, I don't... Why are there roads? Everything is walkable. You can go around the entire... Like, the entire starting island. You can go around all of it in less than three minutes on a Pokemon. Why do you need roads for cars? It doesn't make sense. But this maybe the road infrastructure is like a play for like things they don't need. You know what? I'm sorry to say, but... Pokemon has gone woke. You just wait. In Generation 10, there'll, there'll be um, there'll be drag queens reading to children. We can't have that in a Pokemon game because Pokemon fans don't know how to read. That's just classist. And, um, yeah, it's classist. Let's go. Oh, wait, I should, I should update. A male Buneri, throw it back. First of all, first of all, no. All right, we got the peak Buneri. Thank you very much. And how, how do you know? How do you, how do you know this Buneri? You know what it identifies as. Don't don't project. Don't put that on. You know, put put, put the Buneri into a box. It, the Buneri could be whatever they want to be. All right, we we support whatever the Buneri ends up being, even if it does evolve into like a freakishly anthropomorphic animal. Like it, it's 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 really weird. All right, we no, maybe if no more, you're not going to get all the spindle forms. Th See, that's the exact reason why I said I'm not doing that, because there's fu there's fucking a billion, there's over a billion. There's not a, there's literally not enough space in. I, I I could buy every Pokemon game in the North American region, right? In all of North America, I could buy everybody's copy of every Gen Seven game they have to fill it up. And I still would not have... Do you understand how fucking insane a billion is? And that is... That, like, there's... I think there's over four billion possible combinations. I would die before I even hit the first billion. I used to think I was catching shiny Spinda when they had different markings. Very... See? But... I guess... I guess that's one way to think about it. But that's not bad, you know? That's not egregious to think because, like, it doesn't tell you. Yeah, you were a child. What about all unknown? Okay, so fun fact, in Gen 7, Unknown is the only Pokemon not available in Gen 7. Like, you actually have to transfer Unknown. There's no way to catch Unknown in the wild in this game. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm going to trade all the Pokemon I need to and use Pokemon Bank. I don't have it on this DS. I'm using to stream. I have it on my other DS. But all, this, all the data is on the cartridge. So I'll just use Pokemon Bank and do all the trades that I need to. Because I want to use Ultra uh, Sun to have all the Pokemon on it. But there's going to be a couple breeding streams. Boss, hang, no, hang, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. That sounds weird. I shouldn't, I shouldn't phrase it like that. There's going to be some uh, content that is just going to be waiting for eggs to hatch. There we go. Seems Tapu Coco took quite a liking to you. He's on a watch list now because of that. What starter Pokemon would the Mormons get? That is such a great question. Let us break down the logistics of the Mormon religion and the Pokemon that would be closely associated and related to them. It would be um, Mime Jr. for them to get Mr. Mime, right? It would be Mr. Mime is one of them. Just because it's weird and you wouldn't want to see that coming. Maybe like an undiscovered regional form of Klefki that isn't a set of keys. It's like a door knocker. It'd be, it'd be something like that. And then um, the last one. Hmm. Oh, you know what? You know what? Their starters would be Ferrothorn, because Ferrothorn is transphobic. If you know, you know. And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. I didn't read any of that, but good to know. All right, y'all, let's have a conversation. Who do y'all think would win in a fight? Um, full power Naruto or full power Luffy? And let's just assume for the logistics of the battle, they're not near water. And I don't know what the hell Naruto's weakness is. But let's just, I don't know. Let's just assume he's not near like the grave of graves of Goku. <laughs> Goku would win. Okay, but he's not beating base Kaba. Naruto can make clones though. So? You act like Luffy can't extend his leg like 50 feet and just take them all out in one swing. You know who else can make clones? The US government. First time chat, best viewers on, okay. Hey, I got my first bot. Shout out a self-centered uh, verm vermouth. Vermouth? No, it's vermouth. Vermouth is used to make uh, alcoholic drinks. My first time bot. I've never gotten a bot chat before. Let's go, guys. I'm, I'm gonna mod the bot. Isn't NK the one you gotta give shaken baby syndrome to a? <laughs> um, uh, I mean, you have to turn the DS upside down after it levels up. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't qualify that as shaken baby syndrome. Maybe just like a little bit of a head rush, but. I mean, you know, that is one way to describe it. No, Litten goes down. No, no. Oh, the Nuzlocke's over. Hey guys, fun fact. Actually, this isn't just a, a Pokedex completion. It's a Nuzlocke Pokedex completion. So every single time a Pokemon faints, we have to get a new one. You guys think it's gonna this, this idea is gonna take off? You know, speaking of hardcore Nuzlocks, I'm gonna rant real quick. I don't think Nuzlocks are even that hardcore. It's literally just like I'm gonna play as little of the game f features as possible for your amusement. Like a real hardcore Nuzlocke, I I want something where every time a Pokemon faints, they rip out a freaking tooth. You play until you beat the game, or you have to have dentures implanted. You know what I mean? Like a hardcore Pokemon Nuzlocke where like they attach you to one of those things that zaps you. So every single time a Pokemon faints, you get electrocuted. That's hardcore. The trainer school is just straight up Route 1. I never noticed that. Hey, what's up, guys? In the middle of the night, I'm here to learn. Look at these kids just standing outside. If you walked by a school and you just saw a bunch of kids standing idle outside of that school in the playground, would you stop to see if they were okay or would you just keep it pushing? Like, would you just... Would you not worry about it? Would you just assume that's not your problem? Or would you be like, hey, you know what, guys? These kids shouldn't be out so late. That's weird. So while everybody's here, uh, everybody want to tell each other their um, 
their favorite Rayman Legends character? I'll go first. Mine's Glorbo. That's not how you say Glob. Who's Glowbox? I said Glorbo. I don't. I don't. I don't know who Glowbox is, but I'm a Glorbo fan. My niche Rayman character comes from the Rayman and from Rayman M, and it's Tilly. It doesn't have to be niche, but let me let me look up Tilly. Let's let's, let's get Tilly on the screen here. I'm gonna. What the fuck is this thing? What? What? Let's see, she served. I I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe this is just a bad picture. I'll I'll get another one. Okay, guys, welcome back to my stream. We'll we'll leave her up there for a little bit. All right. <clears throat> You should be perfect sync with your Litten, weren't you? I didn't even use Litten for that fight. But, Lily, you clearly weren't watching. We got Lily on the screen and then Lily in the game, but they're spelled differently. Huh. Y'all aren't seeing the vision? No, I got... Listen, Lily kind of reminds me of Hunter from Spyro. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. My favorite Rayman character is Splinter Ray. I swear to you. I swear to God. I swear to God. Splinter Ray. Are you sure this is your favorite character? Let me let me put this on screen real quick. Here's Splinter. Like, are you sure this is this is it? Right? We got we got Splinter Ray. Is this what you wanted? We, we, this this is this is Splinter Ray, dude. Look at that Splinter Ray. That's it. Uh huh. That's cool. That's a cool character. I I, I didn't know Rayman had uh, the license to that, but that's cool. It's like forty feet away. You come from a low lot of. You've come to a low from some someplace far off, haven't you? I can tell. That is a xenophobic woman right there. Listen, why do I have to say hello your way? Why can't I say hello my way from where I'm from? From I'm from Kanto, all right? This is a very ethnocentric point of view. Oh my God, the frame rate just dropped. <laughs> Holy shit. Ooh, another sticker. I can't get to it. Bad game design. Oh, never mind. Good game design. Take it back. Best game of all time. This is actually the best Pokemon game. If you, um... If you know about the Legend of Treasure or Trash, this is actually their favorite Pokemon game series. It is Ultra Sun and Moon. All right, so um, what's everyone's favorite Pokemon? No, actually, what are your top three favorite Pokemon in order? What are your top three favorite Pokemon in order? Let's have that conversation. Let's talk about it. Oh, Gardevoir, Sylveon, Primarina. That is a banger top three. That is a banger top three. Full respect. If I had to choose Weasel and Cinderor Pikachu. Oh, what? You need to leave. All right, listen, Weasel. Yeah, you're you're number two and three are not in Cinderor and Pikachu. You're you're a damn liar. You're a, you're a goddamn liar, and you're going to hell for lying. Not joking. Yes, you are. There's no way. There's no way Pikachu is your third favorite Pokemon. There's no way. There's no way. Buizel is your number one, and Pikachu's number three. Gardevoir, Sylveon, Primarina, though. That's really good. See that like that, that one. That one's creative. There's a whole theme going on there. Pikachu is peak design. All right. First of all, Pikachu is not peak design. He, they call him Pikachu, you know, not peak a chew. It's Pikachu. Anyway, my top three, Squirtle. Then we have Snorlax. And number three, Scizor. Those are all bangers. If they made Pikachu chubbier, I'd be on board. Do you remember? So Gen 7 was like the, it was like 2015, 2016 to about 2018-ish. They were trying to make Pikachu slimmer. Is very roundish. They even still use that Pikachu in international, um, uh, international marketing. 
But yeah, Chunky Pikachu is the best Pikachu. You know, Chubby Pikachu is cool, but I like the modern one more. All right, you're getting timed out. That's um, that's body shaming. Quick Claw. I listen. I'm gonna find a way to like have a button that just like has like a Quick Claw voice clip. You know, we're never taking Quick Claw away from the best. Every time at procs, you know, we gotta get a counter going or something. That I need to be catching two of some of these Pokemon because I'm trying to do the living dex part. Why did you break out of the Great Ball instantaneously, dude? You're being such a freaking diva. Like, my god. Like, it's not that serious. Like, oh my god, Murkrow. Like, why can't you just stay in the Pokeball? Like, I spent 200 Poke Dollars on this just for you, and you're not gonna stay in it? Like, you're totally uninvited to my party this weekend. And, like,. Terry is totally gonna be there. Like, he just got released in Street Fighter 6 as a DLC character, and he's gonna come to my party. And now you're not gonna be there to see Terry from Fatal Fury. Okay, no, like, actually? Like, no bullshit? Why? Sometimes I think to myself how the nurses get back there, because there's no, like, little, like, tray area that goes up, you know? Like, you would see it, like, a fast food or a restaurant or something. Like, there's, there's no real way to get back there without jumping over the area. And also, Nurse Joy doesn't have a place to sit. How many hours a day are these women on their feet? I... Nurse Joys need rights. Uh, type 1 if you agree that Nurse Joy deserves rights. Uh, press 2 if you don't think Nurse Joy deserves rights. And press three to be a lucky winner for my uh, totally legit giveaway, where I'm giving one lucky viewer um, 16 cent two. <laughs> just, just, just with your full chest, your full chest, you're gonna type two. That's uh, okay. So we we have one one viewer who doesn't believe that women should have rights. All right. That's, I'm just going to say what it is. That's fucked up. Two final answer. <laughs> you doubled down. I, I didn't ask. <laughs> Not nah, two. Totally two. No, nah, for sure two. Hey, 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 hang on a second. Hang on a second. I have it on my phone. I can email it to myself. So I want to show you this thing, I, this idea I had for a t-shirt. And I really badly wanted to make this t-shirt, right? But I couldn't. Because, like, the t-shirt company said something. It was like, oh, there's copyright infringement. It said VZW Media, but it's, like, some, like, random anime thing. I don't think Officer Jenny's from that. But it's like, you have to get explicit permission to do it. And I'm like, well, I'm not doing all that. You know what I mean? Like, you guys are going to love this. I promise. Here we go. I wanted to make this t-shirt. I wanted to make this t-shirt sh and they wouldn't let me. ACAD doesn't include Officer Jenny would eat as a shirt, but it does. So you see you see what I was going for here? They wouldn't let me make it. I had a Team Rocket logo on the back too. But when I like tried to do it, they said it was like a copyright thing. And I had to get permission from Pokemon. And I'm like, I don't think Pokemon is going to give me permission to make an abolish Officer Jenny t-shirt. Listen, I thought a, I thought it was a really funny T-shirt. I was so ready to spend like forty fucking dollars to get this shirt made. Oh, we can't do them. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He did a he did a double jump. I, you know, what I just realized. I think um. Oh shit! Got my DS. You know who Gumshoes reminds me of? <laughs> Gumshoe reminds me of our friend here. You don't see this. You see the similarities, right? You see it? They're like the same size. Like, hang on a second. Right? Like, look at that. You, you can't tell the difference. That's just, look at Gumshoe's on the screen. Look. 
Quick Claw, baby. Look at that. Look at this. See? Am I, am I wrong? Chili is a star. Yeah, the star of this show. Look at this. Ch Chili's doing a good job. Not you comparing her to the Donald Trump cosplay Pokemon. Okay, first of all, first of all, I think Gumshoes and Young Goose were being made conceptually before the 2016 U.S. presidential elections. But he was a big celebrity before then. No, he wasn't. He was not a big celebrity. He was like, like a C-list celebrity. Like he was in the same tier as like Judge Judy, you know? What about Home Alone? First of all, that was just a cameo because it was in Trump Tower. Like he was a, still a well-known businessman, right? Like people know who Rupert, Ru, uh, was it? Rupert Murdoch was. You know, like people know who Bill Gates is, but I wouldn't call Bill Gates a celebrity, you know? I can't believe I have Donald Trump defenders in my chat right now. Y'all are bugging. Hey, hey, look, 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 right? Calling <laughs> the track queen a Trump defender is wild. Look, 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 look. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I simply asked why you were defending, right? I'm not saying it's a good or a bad thing. No, actually, I am. But, you know, look at George Santos, right? Probably one of the most progressive members of Congress ever. You know? former Brazilian drag queen. All I said was he was a famous person before 2016. No. No, you said he was your most favorite person to ever exist. We all saw it in the chat. Anyway, like George... George yeah, George Santos. George Santos is crazy. No, we don't claim her. Okay. Or, uh, oh, what, what's George Santos' drag name? They got found out, and he was like, no, that's not me. But now that he's out of Congress, he does cameos as uh, as his drag queen persona. Listen, there was a gay drag queen in Congress, and they immediately booted them out of the Congress. All right? That's all I'm going to say. They had the most... He was so bold. For I'm just saying, you know? Even stole money from people all the time. Embezzled um, uh, campaign funds. Like really like an innovator honestly i can respect the embezzlement but i draw the line at bad drag <laughs> so it wasn't the policies it wasn't you know stealing money from like the homeless veteran to like get his dog saved and then like not using the money to get the dog surgery and letting the dog die it wasn't like lying straight to people's faces it's the bad drag that's where we draw the line quick claw i just want to know like you know, I guess for some, none of that. It was, nope, none of, it was the wig. <laughs> do y'all think Oricorio, like if you ate an Oricorio, do you think the flavor of it would change based on what nectar it had? Like, I'd like to think the electric one tastes like chicken. The, uh, the fire Oricorio might taste kind of spicy. The ghost Oricorio, I want to say that would taste more like turkey. And then the Psychic Oricorio, I think there is. I think it's Psychic Oricorio. I, I think that one tastes like ginger. I think this is a good time to end stream. Thank, thank y'all. Hope, hope y'all lovely folks have a lovely day. Um, And uh, we, listen, this challenge is going to be a fun one. So thank you again. Okay. Mwah. Kisses.